about a week and a half ago, I made a video talking about my experience using macOS as a Linux user. And judging by the comments, you guys were right. I mean, I came into it with pretty much no background or experience with macOS. And of course, expecting things to work one way um, that you're used to and expecting it from a different system is, yeah, kind of the wrong mindset. So I decided to actually learn this workflow. Obviously, there's a different workflow. There's uh, just a different way that uh, window management works. So I decided to uh, give it more of a test and uh, actually learn it uh, before I make comments on it. So basically, let's say I have two windows open. I learned that um, if you swipe with your three fingers up, then it presents this, what it's called uh, the mission control, uh, which is basically the overview effect in GNOME and KDE. Now, I was pretty much exposed through this uh, from that point forward to the uh, world of gestures. Now, before I didn't get what the hype was with all these gestures and all this type of stuff. In fact, the Linux experiment made a video talking about that, uh, trying to mimic these gestures and stuff like that on Linux devices. Um, but now I understand. So I'm currently on a laptop and um, I get the perk of using all these gestures. So basically uh, this is with the overview effect. Um, if I do like a pinching motion, I get the application launcher. Um, if I do the opposite, I basically show the desktop uh, let's say you have a full screen application or maximized window. You could easily, it creates like its own workspace and you could easily swift through uh, virtual desktops, which by the way, I've created another one for myself so that I could move applications and just so that I could uh, quickly access like a fresh desktop window here. Uh, not window, but you know, just desktop. And uh, yeah, there are plenty of these. And the beauty of this is, see, my experience has been with uh, KDE Plasma and it does have this overview effect. It does have virtual desktops. In fact, the sliding animation is almost the same. Uh, it's just these animations, by the way, I got to comment, they're very fluid. They're very smooth, very polished. Uh, it just makes the whole experience very fast and nice. Uh, but yeah, it, it did kind of have, I could mimic a, a similar workflow, but um, I just never did, you know? And now that I've been doing this and I've been getting used to this, it's been, I must say, a pretty good experience. Um, and yeah, you could even do this with the keyboard. If you do control and arrow key up, you could uh, get the same uh, desktop effect, or I mean the mission control. If you do control and arrow key down, it presents to you the windows. Uh, if you do control and arrow keys left and right, it switches between the um, between the virtual desktops. And so, yeah, when something's in full screen, it kind of creates like its own desk, like desktop of its own, its own window. So you can uh, swift through them. And the awesome thing about like full screen videos is let's say you're watching a tutorial here. Uh, in this uh, workspace and then you go to the other one and you actually apply what the video is talking about. That's really useful. And uh, there's also, if I do command shift and F3, I could do the show desktop effect. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure there's more. Uh, I'm sure there's more shortcuts. I've learned if I do command shift and five, for example, I could edit and use the screenshot tool. Or if I do command shift and three, I straight up capture um, a screenshot automatically. So there's many things that I could do. I've been learning the, uh, you know, minor details. Like I don't just press delete to delete the screenshot. I have to do command delete. Um, and yeah, of course, shortcuts are going to be different uh, for every system. And yeah, just a matter of uh, getting used to. And it's uh, it's been great so far. I've actually been enjoying it. See, the thing about Apple is that I believe it likes to tie its hardware with its software. So 
yeah, I get it. You could theoretically uh, open up a virtual machine and test out Mac OS if you want to, but that's not really, it doesn't give you the proper experience. To actually experience a polished version and to actually get a feel for this desktop, uh, pairing it with the hardware, with the actual hardware is a totally different experience. So yeah, my opinion has shifted. Uh, it's been positive and I'm sure that as I move forward and learn more and more, it's going to get even better. Um, so yeah, that's been uh, basically it. That's uh, my reaction as a Linux fanboy to Mac OS after three weeks of use. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.